Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we'll be doing another run through of full self driving, but this is their newest uh, version, version 10.5, just released uh, just right before the holiday here. So I'm gonna have it uh, take me from downtown all the way to Target, that's kind of closer to my house. So uh, let's get started. See this car? You are brave. I think this is the first time it's actually done a right turn on red before. It's not illegal, but do you see just how slow that was? Like, you know, the car had to just creep forward. And the like, problem is the car has to put itself basically in harm's way to be able to see traffic coming. And if there is like a car coming at high speed, it's like it's too late. So... Something that I wish Tesla would do. Maybe we'll see that in uh, in later vehicles. Oops. Oh, and R.I.P. Water bottle. There it is. Sorry, but yeah, something I wish uh, Teslas would have is I wish it had a like maybe more like another camera up front that could look just left and right or interpret traffic better. Maybe uh, yeah, to the left and to the right because yeah, the car having to creep forward like that just that's just not the way to go needs something better but of course full self-driving at the moment is limited biggest limb fact is the cameras or the cameras that it currently has yep I put in this destination uh, said it has to take a few turns here downtown so I'm looking forward to that seeing what it does so other than it having to creep forward really slow, like that was actually a pretty impressive right turn. Like, of course, nobody was coming, so I wasn't too worried, but, but overall not bad. I have been using 10.5 for about almost a week now. I try, I don't, honestly, I don't even remember when I got it. Maybe Monday, Sunday, who knows. Actually, I think I got, actually, I got it on Saturday. But uh, I have noticed some improvements. Fantastic right turn. The car's like, nah, we're not gonna get that close to those cars. We're gonna go in the left lane. Wait, speaking of the left lane, the car favors the left lane on my drive to work. So I basically drive in a kind of a two-lane freeway. There we go. Yeah, I drive in a two-lane freeway to work, and it will favor the passing lane every time. Like there's nothing I can do to keep it in the right lane. Which the hell was that? Interesting. The car decided to slam on the brakes, which has been a, uh, I wouldn't say it, it's been a common trend sometimes with phantom braking. I know people hate to hear that term phantom braking. I really don't know what to call it, but that's the only way I can describe it. But yeah, but the car, like while I'm driving to work, it will stay in the passing lane the entire time. It will not go into the right lane unless I uh, signal over for it to do it. The only problem is, 10 seconds later, the car is going right back into the passing lane. And the only way that I can stop it is if I have to, like every time it wants to signal over, I have to cancel it. So here I am every 10 to 30 seconds, just using the cancel, like on the gear, on the turnstock to cancel the lane change, which when you drive 30 miles to work, that gets real annoying real fast. But then again, there are some moments where I, I do highly appreciate self uh, full self-driving. Example, uh, so I was driving across town the other day. I just, I, like it was it was around 5.30, it was around 6, I'd say around 6 p.m. So in the middle of the week, that's like go, that's like go home traffic. So there was so much traffic on the freeway, the roads were packed. And I didn't really realize it until I was making the turn to my final destination like into the in, onto the street that the car had taken me all the way from fr across town with no interventions didn't even realize it I just I wouldn't say I zoned out but I was just I can't even explain it but yeah I turned onto that street and all of a sudden like it kind of it kind of hit me I'm like holy crap 
the car literally drove me here. The like, the, like this is great. All I had to do the entire time was just kind of hold on to the wheel and you know stay at, attentive to the road. But like, I didn't have to do anything. So that was probably my most successful drive of full self driving so far. Overall, I was super impressed with that drive, and that was on version 10.5. Looking forward to uh, improvements over time. I've definitely, uh, I've been very frisky with the uh, with the report button up here in the corner. Basically, if the car doesn't do like basically what I want it to do at all, I'm just going to hit that report button just in case. Does it do anything? I, I honestly have no idea, but I said why not? Doesn't doesn't hurt me at all. One thing I do wish is that the report button was somewhere else on this screen, not over here, because, like, it's not, I can't press it easily. Because one, I, like, I wish it was just somewhere else. Like, maybe, like, I wish it was maybe on the steering wheel, like, double tapping something on the steering wheel to report it. Because, yeah, because it's right here, it's this tiny little button, but all the time I keep wanting to hit my, I hit my driver profile by accident. So, yeah. Tesla, move that uh, autopilot, like the, or the report button, please. Thank you. Uh, you know, normally, other than full self-driving, I usually talk about Tesla news while while uh, the car's on the road. But honestly, I don't really have that that much for you. There, I'd say Tesla hasn't really been in the spotlight too much in terms of advancements or new stuff. Uh, I said Giga Texas is still being built. Giga Berlin is that is being built as well. They're actually they're very both very close to starting uh, vehicle production. I think both are trying to start actually here in December. Ooh, nice. There we go. So I noticed too. Sometimes the car likes to make very wide turns. It's very interesting. Not, not illegal, not the worst thing in the world, but it is unusual. successful uh, half left turn whatever you want to call that I was a little nervous on that one but uh, the car did well I was impressed I've been trying to think uh, in silence here some other Tesla news the only thing I can really think of is uh, Tesla increasing their prices yet again which I think I've lost track I'd like to say this is like the 12th price in price increase of the year so this car as it's built so a model y long range all-wheel drive with white interior and 20 inch induction wheels that i think i bought back of, like earlier this year for around fifty five thousand dollars this same car now is going to cost you sixty two thousand dollars not including the uh twelve hundred dollar destination fee as well so that that's pretty crazy that this car I'm currently driving has has gone up by an additional I think yeah six seven thousand dollars. But then again, that's the demand. The demand for Teslas is absolutely through the roof right now, and also not not including the uh, increase in price and supplies as well. Once again, that makes me nervous with uh, Tesla removing their prices from the Cybertruck uh, link. I'm curious if the price of the Cybertruck is going to go up. Because I reserved a tri-motor back when, you know, I'm like, oh, it's going to be $70,000 for the tri-motor. Now that it's gone, I'm worried it's going to go up by like ten dollars or $20,000 or more. So, I mean, Q4 
keeping my fingers crossed on that one and I've been continuing to save and for a bigger down payment just in case that does happen or I'll have to reevaluate my thinking here when the price of the official prices do get released here sometime in the future who knows when that will be I'm pretty impressed with this drive so far had no issues uh, no, no wood to really knock on here but, but yeah I've, I've definitely seen a vast improvement when you compare 10.5 to 10.4 even to 10.3 or 10.3.1 definitely seen a lot of improvement still have a long ways to go though it's it's definitely not perfect it I would not trust it to go out and be a robo taxi for me but maybe someday pretty sweet make me some money while I sleep we're two minutes from our destination overall pretty solid Here we are, we made it to Target alive and in one piece and with no interventions whatsoever. Officially deactivating FSD. So yeah, that was a zero intervention drive. So overall pretty impressed. But that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and enjoyed the content that I provide, uh, please consider subscribing as well. That would help me out a ton. I'm still on my way to uh, my thousand subscribers. I think I'm at like 365 as of today. So overall, not bad. Better than the five I had, or even I had a couple of months ago. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend.